YouTubers and welcome back and today I'm going over to another YouTuber's house where I'm going to learn how to TIG weld and he's going to learn what it's like to weld with crappy flux core. So today that's what we're doing. Oh and there's also going to be a twin turbo about a thousand horsepower Mustang. I'm not sure if he's going to reveal the exact numbers it makes as far as horsepower but I'm guessing it's right around there. All right so I got the welder right there. I got the welding mask right there and I got some wire wheels and an extra pair of shorts in case the Mustang makes me pee my pants because last time I was in a twin turbo car it was terrifying and I'm always scared as crap in the passenger seat for some reason. So we're here with Connor. He's going to tell me about his channel, that welder, and this beautiful car right here. So uh, I guess let the people know who you are first. Yeah, so my name is Connor Guasti. I started a YouTube channel like back in March because uh, it was stuck at home for COVID, just like everybody else. I figure I'm going to be out here in the garage working on the car anyways. So why not yeah. uh, film myself and share it with everybody? And that's kind of like what I do is I just work on this. Um, I work on this thing. You know, every, like pretty much every day I'm out here doing something on this car or learning something. Back in like April, um, this is the first thing I fabbed up. I just, I taught myself how to weld. Um, so I taught myself with stainless. Looks well, pretty actually, good, yeah. I learned on aluminum first, then moved to stainless, but. Oh, so you started on the harder stuff I started first. Harder that's, stuff that's good. First, Definitely good. And then went good. to the easier stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of like what I do on my channel is, uh, you know, every day is a learning experience. But yeah, so we're going to work on today, we'll do some TIG welding. We'll probably start with the flux core just because that's a little bit, that's like more push button, get banana style <laughs> than, than actual. This is going to be kind of very in-depth. the right way to do it was with your thumb. We can it? go to Harbor's Freight and get some anti spat if you want. No, that's okay, I'm all right. I was, uh, so I went like this looking for a foot pedal immediately. <laughs> I'm already, <laughs> I'm already looking for a foot pedal. I'm gonna look for a trigger, don't worry. The fact that you haven't blown through yet is pretty impressive. Can you blow through it with this? Oh yeah. Oh, really? That's usually what people do, yeah. <laughs> That's the first thing they do. <laughs> Just blow right through it. We'll see. The penetration is too is good. It's good penetration, I will say that much. The okay. welds aren't the prettiest, but they will hold. Yeah, I mean that's what matters. That's some serious concentration going on now. So, so Connor's out. first time welding is a huge success <laughs> on, on the flux, that is. <laughs> I'm pretty excited, I'm not gonna we'll lie. Give a shot to the table. I have a feeling that I'm gonna do a lot worse than you did right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what Connor told me is, you got a gas pedal here, all the way down your max. Which is set at six, 69 right and now. And this is just the heat to, That's to the, the heat. max of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, to the max of the welder. Don't dip the tungsten because you'll ruin it. You want to stay off it and you kind of want to pulse the heat. No, you don't. That was just, I want you to pulse the heat. That way you can get a feel of how the spring pressure on the pedal and how much ah, it changes. Hey, gotcha, gotcha. So you use the pedal to, as you get into most well, experienced welders will just set it, you know, all the way up or whatever, or, and they'll just use the pedal to control what they want. 
Um, okay, okay. As, a, as an amateur, I like to try to find out what's the hottest I can get it without blowing yeah, through. That, this thing down there only has one speed, yeah. so that's what we're So we're, that, we're that's what for. the pedal, the pedal okay. you get, you just want to get used to going up and down on the pedal. That's so why I was saying to pulse it. So there's a uh, pedal control gas too? So the gas just is amperage. set, it's just amperage. Yeah, okay. so the, all the gas does in common misconception, the gas isn't doing any of the heating. All it's doing is shielding. Shielding, okay. Argon's yeah. a noble gas, so it keeps contaminants out of your puddle. Gotcha, um, gotcha. So it's not gonna, you won't suck anything gross into it, but. Okay. And nice. then you kind of want to be at like, right like about, this? yeah, right about there. Really the right way to do it is like this, so that you have full argon coverage, uh, but, but yeah. for the sake of practicing, and this is how I do you it. You need to see it. So I can see my, so I can see my, uh, yeah, the, my, the tip of my arc. Yep. Closer, with, there you go, right there. And let the puddle build. And instead of rocking back and forth with the torch like that, use, come up and down on the pedal as you move forward. Oh, I see. There you go. Then that, that, that way you can feel the puddle, like the, how the pedal affects your arc. A little bit closer yet. Yep. There you go. And then see how you're not getting a full puddle just yet? Before you, wait until the nice puddle appears before you come off the pedal again. There you go, that's plenty long. On, off. On, off, on, off, yep, that's it. There's some joints right here. We'll just practice fusing these together. There's a nice long run right here. So we'll do no filler rod on that. Can you see the puddle yep. fused together, the gap? And the pulsing on the pedal as you're going over this is, uh, is, is going to kind of give it that look of dimes. Yeah, or not dimes, but, you know, individual little... Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, it's good. It's got good... I mean, you did start just the... You said that. I didn't notice at first, but you started no, a smidge off. <laughs> but it's really hard to see, man. Especially when the fit-up's real tight under a hood, it's hard to see. But, oh, yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, that's fused together good and... It's penetrated, and it probably won't be able to it's see it. It's definitely a it's, lot more tricky than flux core as far as getting your settings right. Yep. So uh, Connor's been kind enough to uh, supply some really nice looking stainless steel for me to try to fuse. Still no filler. Yeah, so we're just I wouldn't try it. filler. This will just be a nice take home piece. It'll be, I mean, you can definitely try filler. I have stainless filler right here if you would like to. You know, I'm just gonna take baby steps. Yeah, fusing is just, it's a good time. You get all of the enjoyment out of TIG without any of the frustration. It's not very pretty. I mean, I have one decent area right here. But Connor's a good teacher, so uh, I, I do believe a little more practice. I can this do a lot right here, this. this little, you had a somebody, guardian angel of some sort, came and did, because this is money right here. This little, that little part half inch section. Oh, that looks, section right there. Looks real, right there looks really good. <laughs> that was all luck. <laughs> I guarantee you, all luck. Just watch DC welding. AC welding is going to be like loud. Oh, so aluminum has to be AC welded? This is AC, yep. Holy crap, I didn't know. Yeah, so this that is... It looks good, though. Yeah, these ones are... These are just recent. I did these like the other day. So I'm, I'm, my aluminum's... I would argue my aluminum is consistently better than my steel. So this is kind of like an important thing. And a lot of times, like, when I'm welding, I'll not understand why my welds are yucky, the puddle is gross and it has a bunch of contaminants. And like, this looks clean, but watch this, just one, two, three. Look at all oh, that no, yep. yuckiness that was on there. And then I think this might've been where the saying came from, squeaky clean. When it gets nice and clean, oh, it'll, it'll, squeak. it'll squeak once it gets out. <laughs> of course I said it, it's not gonna do it.
That's another dip. There, there's a couple of dips for you. I mean, that's not a very bad weld. It's a, the, that looks pretty good. The, uh, the puddle's a little bit oblong, but I mean, it's nice and not clear bad, and shiny. Yeah. So I dipped it twice. No, normally, if you dip it, you can stop and clean your material, clean your tungsten, but so for the video purposes, this whatever. Still looks like it still worked pretty well to me. The, um, let me try again. I wanna run a, I wanna run a good one for the camera. Oh, we got you. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that one, if I'm, if I'm honest. That looks really good. And congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. First, I want to thank Connor for allowing me to come over to his house and try his TIG water. That was a super fun time. TIG is definitely tricky. I'd like to hit it up again and get some more practice on it. In the next video, we're going to take a ride in Connor's twin turbo Mustang that makes over a thousand horsepower. So that's going to be a good time. I'm also going to do one thing I haven't done in the longest time. I'm taking photos of this car doing a photo shoot. So you'll see me doing that. A ride, photo shoot. And then after that, hopefully this guy right here will be done. I've had another transmission issue. So I had to come out again. It's gone back to the shop, but this time the whole truck's going to the shop. So hopefully in my next video, this guy will be on the street and riding again. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications and that like button. Until next time, peace.